All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to 10 New Brews, the modern portion. So, of course, Lord of the Rings has released Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth, the crossover set. Uh, it's been really, really cool so far. Honestly, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, big Magic fan. I'm really, really enjoying it. And uh, of course, this is not a standard set. Usually, ten new brews is ten standard decks, but this is a set that's released straight to modern, and then also in historic and alchemy on arena. We did five historic decks already. Now we're doing five modern decks. And for all you YouTube folks, I'll be alternating. We'll be going historic, modern, historic, modern, historic, modern. Uh, so we're doing five modern decks, five historic decks. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like the video. Please take the half a second to like the video. It's helped out a ton lately on the channel. I'm trying to remind y'all to do it more often. And for like content creator that you like and you watch on on youtube or anywhere else if you like what they're doing and want to see more of it want to help them for free with like literally just a second of your time hit like then hit play do it every time every video don't be stingy with your likes helps out a ton appreciate that so much so our first deck here is like a crossover with uh one of the historic decks that i built called merry men uh based around merry esquire of rohan a card that i think it's a pretty, a pretty big sleeper in this set honestly boros two drop two two haste for two that's fine get them decent stats has this, you know, red herring equipment text on it. Has first strike as long as it's equipped. Whatever. That doesn't matter. What matters is, whenever you attack with Mary, another legendary creature, you draw a card. And that is awesome. A 2-2 haste for 2 that draws a card every turn is unreal. And in Historic, we were kind of stretching it with our 1-drops. You know, we were playing uh, Skrelv and Isamaru and Frodo. Uh, but in Modern, we get access to Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer, which is obviously insane. And of course, Kithian, which is a solid uh, solid one drop as well. So much, much better on the uh, on the one drops here. And then we could also convert these cards that we're drawing off of Merry into Fury and Solitude Fodder as well, which is pretty awesome. So a bunch of legends here. Uh, we got Mox Amber as well. Um, Mary, Karizev, plenty of you copies of Flowering of the White Tree, a uh, card that I called a bust in my, my in my loves, hates, and set reviews. I don't think this card is terrible. I think it's a little overrated, but we're trying it here, obviously. Only playing two huge diminishing returns. The first one's pretty good. And we are playing a lot of cards that make tokens as well. Uh, Adeline, Squee, Karizev, and so on. We got Adeline. We have the new Barmir, Warden of the Tower, which counters all your opponent's free spells, which is super cool against Cascade and Fury and stuff like that as well. Uh, Adeline... Play one Brimaz, a little mix. You gotta, you gotta mix up your legends, of course. Another card that goes wide. Uh, Gideon Blackblade, also a great card to cast on turn two off of Mox Amber or Ragavan, or diversify our threats a little bit. And the big home run here is Urza's Ruinous Blast, which just exiles everything that's not legendary. This card's a house. This card's really, really sweet. So, sideboard is sideboard cards in it. You get the idea. Uh, but that's our deck. Let's get right to the games brought to you by. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, start off here with a real shitter of a hand. Still a piece of garbage. Uh -huh. Five lands, two Adelines. We're in a mulligan. Mulligan into a much better hand. Ragavan, Merry with Solitude and a white card. Uh, this would be a really good seven card hand. Remember, we're going to keep this. Keep this. Ship Fury. Just let it ride. Let it ride. All right, cool. Sacred Foundry, come on down. Ragavan, come on down. So we have Solitude and Merry with Ragavan. It's pretty sick. Seek Realm Coast. Ornithopter. All right, it's a little hammer time action here. Just gonna say go. Uh, Flower in the White Tree also. Damn. All right, so we're gonna get a Plains, I think. And we're just gonna Battle Ball. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. All right, send in Mary. Ragavan. We have Solitude also. This is pretty sweet. A bad little start here. Ragavan of the Mary is very, very appealing, obviously. So, move to combat. We get to hopefully trigger Ragavan as well as draw a card off Mary. Second scroll, we have Solitude up also. Just get a chump block at the Ragavan. Oh, you love to see it. All right, cool. Say go, and we have Flowering next turn as well as Solitude. Flood Strand, crack it. Let's 
What's up, Chickenzilla? You folks doing here, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis, of course, and this is uh, 10 new brews for Lord of the Rings. We did five historic decks, we're doing five modern decks. This is the first of five modern decks. They'll be alternating on YouTube, and of course, we're live right now. They get a hammer, and I don't know why it's like that. They say, go. We're going to untap, and we're going to draw an Inspiring Vantage. Okay, so I'll just go Flowering of the First Tree, and then Serve and draw a card. Mary's the nut. Mary's the nut. All right, so we're going to hit them with the Ragavan, revealing a treasure and a Flood Strand. Sure. We're going to play a Vantage, just cast Skrull, I think. We have Solitude lined up, too. No, this is not too shabby. This is not looking, not looking too shabby here. What your elf I see? Urza Sega. Spell Skite. Uh, I mean, sure. It's interesting in the face of my solitude, but Spell Skite does block these. I mean, we're just gonna solitude the Spell Skite, right? Untap. And see what we draw. We can force through Ragavan. Doesn't seem necessary, honestly. Also, Barmir seems pretty cool here, too. Um, yeah, let's just pitch cast Solitude and eat the Spellskite. They gain its power, too. Awesome. All right, let's pitch this. And target spell skite. I guess we'll just attack first. Don't want to force through Ragavan. I think, oh, let's draw first, see what we draw. So let's attack with these two. Draw of Mary. Courage. Courage for our friends, Mary. A Ganjo Castle, pretty cool. Um, I think we're going to Skrelv on the, uh, the Ragavan and force it through. Otherwise, they're, they're going to chump anyway, so make them chump this thing. So, target this. Let's pay some Phyrexian life. Give it white. Get a Ragavan hit in. And they deal four. Ragavan flips over a... Uh, nothing again? Sure. Just play out right, our hand, play castle, play warden. Oh, Cigars, I didn't even see it, whatever. Oh, I'm not playing Cigars, obviously, so. Could play Cigars, in case we hit a uh, hit a hammer off the next one, but they're just dead, so I think it's fine. Sick. Game. I mean, that was a really impressive game. Uh, pretty hard to get more impressive than that, honestly. Here's Fury, uh, Kataki Wars Wage, pretty cool. Thalia is not bad against them, but I think it's awkward with our stuff too. Also, maybe Ruinous Blast. Um, I would say that Boromir is not super interesting. I might want to shave a mock because I'm, I'm bringing attackies. Uh, Squeeze, not really great here either. Um, Magistrate. You can't cast spells anywhere from their hands. That's why I want a Magistrate. Loran's also interesting. Um, probably shave a Skrelv. Oh, Gideon's not great here, though. Gideon's not very good this matchup. So, yeah, the Gideons can come out. Maybe a Skrelv can come out. The Loran's come in. Uh, I don't think I want Thalia. Magistrate, Eowyn, Sanctifier. This is probably fine. So, we have... Extra Blast, Extra Fury, two Katakis, two Lorans, and we're moving out some of the cards that just don't matter that much. Yeah, I think it's, it's fine. I'm cool with this. Let's rock with this, see yeah, how this works. I'm, of course, playing a Pro Tour in this format. Uh, that's going to be uh, end of July. Should be a lot of fun. Z Zergo Bell Striker, not exactly good as, as good as Ragavan. Uh, we've drawn two of our, like, you know, kind of like filler legends here a Fury and a Mox Amber. I think we still keep, honestly. I mean, even hardcasting Fury on turn four isn't even that bad. I'm gonna keep. Sand's not great, but throw the baggins. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. Need to 
is a gift. Planes go. And Adeline. That's pretty good, actually. Turn to Adeline. Sure. So let's go land Frodo. I can't go land Frodo Mox Bell Striker, unfortunately, but I think it's fine. I might even keep the, keep the Bell Striker in my hand for Fury anyway. So PT's modern and PT is uh, Lord of the Rings drafts. So I'll be working with uh, Team CFB again, which is awesome, and friends. And uh, say go here. Yeah, the, the version I played, this is the only crossover deck where I built a similar deck in Historic and Modern for uh, 10 New Brews, and the modern, the Historic version of his deck that I played played Winona. This deck, this, this one's not, so. Sanctifier in Vec. I mean, it's, it's pro red, I guess, sure. It's fine. Uh, we're going to untap. I guess we can't actually attack with the Adeline, but all right, we're going to fetch a bunch of land. Sacred Foundry. Play Mox Amber. Play Adeline, just say go. Unfortunately, our Frodo can't really attack here, but I could, I guess I could, I could attack with Frodo by itself. I should, I screwed up. I should attack first. If I attack with Frodo first, they don't block, and then I get, I get it for a point, but whatever. Uh, it's fine. Missed a point. My bad. There's Urza Sega. Here's Stoneforge Mystic. Have this Fury lined up. They're going to get a uh, Cauldra, not a Hammer. Interesting. Looking to play a fair game here. And we draw Solitude. Huh. Hmm. All right, so we're going to just... I mean, pitching Fury to kill only Stoneforge is pretty bad. But... <sighs> We have a Shinka, which is pretty cool. Just going to attack with both and start there, I guess. Yeah. They're going to block the token with the Sanctifier, take a little bit of a hit here. We're going to gain some life, play Karzev, and then Fury away the Stoneforge Mystic so they can't play the, the Cauldra. Sure. That's fine. We can solitude the uh, the germ, I guess. That's true. Also, attack with these, make a token. Shouldn't get for some first strike action. Kind of fun. We draw a land and cast solitude next turn. But we also got yeah, hard casting fury and solitude is both both definitely pretty reasonable. I should I should, I should I'm sorry I should put this first. I screwed up again. You know. That's it. I'm going to clown college. All right. So yeah, we're gonna do this. So I missed a point on the car and the Adelines. Missed two points now so far. She missed about a point a turn. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, then we're gonna play the Kari Zev. I'm gonna hold the Zergo in case we have to pitch. Um, and I, I want to pump also. I think I think there's value in pumping. So, so they have they have a possible uh, five five. We have a Solitude, which is fine. Um, we have Fury pitch. They're gonna hard cast the hammer. And just say go. That's really weird. They could have Urza Saga and just gonna do this thing. Sure, it's fine. All right, so untap. If we draw a land, we do draw a land. Fantastic. So now I get to jam with everything. And they want to try putting the thing. We just solitude it. Uh, we get to make much tokens here, which is awesome. Going wide. And here comes Stoneforge. Oh, goodbye. Get off my plane. They block this thing, take a bunch. This game feels pretty over, honestly. Block Ragavan, whatever, sure. So they take six, seven, eight, nine, ten. True, be good here. Yep. Alright, Ragavan's gone. My token's gone. We say go. Chapter 3 on Urza Saga. 
and they're going to float a mana and get something. I mean, they, if they get like a, a Shadow Spear here, and they're able to put the spear, and they, and they also have a uh, a Pure Steel Paladin, and they can pants up their, they, they got a Spring Leaf Drum, so. All right, there's Pure Steel. Um, yeah. The no life lake is huge. Kind of weird they didn't get Shadow Spear. I was like, I already have one. They have another hammer. Oh, I'm just dead. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> that's fine, I guess. Um, that's 26. We're at effectively 24. They have Shadow Spear. A third hammer! <laughs> well, I guess you got me. I guess you win. All right, sure. Um, yeah, that's, that's a thing that can happen, I suppose. Just an average 36, 37 MBD. Eh? All right, so game three, I guess. Uh -huh. Sure. Um, maybe we, I don't think we changed anything, honestly. I don't think we're just doing Thalia. We have Ruinous Blast. Yeah, this is fine. I think we're fine. That was, uh, that was pretty, uh, pretty out there. Yeah, don't don't they don't get they don't get the hammer off stone forge. They already have five hammers in their hand. Makes sense. They couldn't they didn't have any hammers in their deck, so they just didn't didn't have any option uh, any options obviously. So uh, you know. Pop quiz, hot shot. All right, so game three on the play. Should have fury the stone forge. I mean, what would have that have done for us? It would have... I, I guess it'd be Fury of Stoneforge, and then they can't... I guess we die with a Fury and a red card in our hand. So, like, if we had done that, we would have had the Solitude for the, the next creature. So, maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. Um. Oh, no. No one drop. Triple Merry Ruinous Blast. Gotta ship this one, I think. Uh, we're gonna Mulligan. Mulligan into... Great. Keep this ship fury. So we go Karizev, Adeline, flowering. Yeah, I guess. Ugh, man. All right, sure. This is not ideal. No one drop. We're playing like 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 seventeen one drops. I'm probably not that many, but we have like fifteen one drops, something like that. A lot of one drops. All right. So here's Flood of Strand. The tree is very good with both of our token makers, I think. So Esper Sentinel, great. So crack this. Obviously, and they also have they they haven't been very furiable so far. So solitude that place that makes our flowering look a little better. So here's a Kari Zev. So you go. Next turn is Adeline. Sanctifier in Vec again. Right, sure, whatever. Alright, so untap and we draw Ragavand. Alright, still got Adeline, I think. Um could flowering in Ragavan. It seems bad though, because they have a play anyway, so. Alright, white, white, this play Adeline. Attack with our Kari Zev. They can't double block so they got his first strike. They get to eat a thing, but whatever. They take three here, I think. Unless they want to, they want to block the uh, soldier, most likely. Then next turn we can tree. Oh man! Oh no! Yeah, don't do that. It's got first strike and menace. <laughs> don't want to do that one. They're gonna block the rock event. They're gonna get, keep let us keep the token. Awesome. All right. I was rock to die anyway, so your turn. Urza Saga. What do your elf I see? Warlock of the Coast. Do a barrel roll. What's up, Bonnet? What are you up to over there? Oh, yeah. Make sure you hit that follow button, watch your Twitch, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. 
MySpace, ChristianMingle.com. What do you think? We got Ragavan and Ragavan. Dual Ragavans. Love it. What about Kick? Kick. Kick. Am I on Farmers Only? You got all, all the way to find out, right? Just look me up. TikTok's going great already for our opponent here. Good TikTok uh, you have from yesterday. The ring mechanic actually have a downside. So, when I first saw the ring tempts you as a mechanic, your creature gets abilities, choose a ring bearer, etc., etc. There's no drawback on the actual ability, or so it seems, because everything is a plus, it's, like it's an additive ability. However, I... However, I'll explain to you why the mechanics are great on my TikTok. Here's Stoneforge Mystic. Gonna go get a something. Gonna get Cauldra again, sure. And untap. Another Ragavan. We could dash Ragavan and then Solitude the Sanctifier and then kind of force a block. Um, we probably want to keep Flowering for Solitude. Casting Flowering and just paying the one's not bad either. But then we're off of a white card for Solitude, which I don't think I'm very happy about. Um, hmm... They're at 16 with five cards in their hand. I cast, casting flowering is really good here. Like, pumps up the squad significantly, pumps the tokens up. That way the tokens aren't, aren't stoppable by these creatures anymore either. I could just draw a white card too, right? I'm just going to play cast flowering. I think the question is, I'm going to cast flowering, am I going to pay the one or cast ragaban also? I think Ragavan's bad against Sanctifier. Just too, it's just too bad in there. I'm just, I'm just gonna cast it and then pay the one. I think so. Cast Flowering. Plenty of white cards aren't like to draw for Solitude, so pay the one and then send it. I said send it. S send it. Come on, go to combat. Talk about everything. They're gonna march of otherworldly light. X equals four. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, X equals four. Pitch two cards to march. My Adeline, not accounting for the ward. The award, of course. You can't march the reward. And uh, that's it. Game's over. All right. Next match, I suppose. All right. Let's rock and roll here with Plaza of Heroes, Plaza of Heroes, Kithian, Skrelv, Solitude, Ruinous Blast, Squee. We're on the draw. Opponent Mulligan to six. Let me keep this, I guess. It's not great, but. All right. So turn one, probably Kithian. We'll see what they play. They play Spire Bluff Canal. All right, let's untap. We draw Arid Mesa. Right, we're gonna Skrelv, I think. Um, probably Ruinous Blast is gonna be our Solitude card. Play Skrelv, make them kill it, and set up for Kithian into Squee. Aww. Poor little guy. He's just try. He's just chomping on stuff, you know. Just leave him alone. He's just trying. To, he's hungry. You got Dragon Rage Channeler, sure. Untap. Uh, and draw a... A Ganjo? That's pretty good, actually. Alright, so we're just going to go Land Kithian. A Ganjo, very good against Channeler, honestly. I'm going to try and hold... Uh, try, I'm going to try and hold on to our Solitude for a Murktide. <clears throat> Excuse me. And step consider. Yeah, that's fun. They've been a spell snare. 
So that's instant, instant, instant in the graveyard. And they've been a spiral of canal. All right, so two to delirium so far. There's a bobble. That's delirium. All right, sure. So they have delirium. F6. What do you got, friend? Unholy Heat targeting Kithian. Sure. So emptying the Warrens here. They're going to bobble in response. We got Squee next turn, which is pretty solid. Nope, nope. Wow, no Delirium. Wow. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. They have freaking two cards left now at the bobble. We're playing Bowmaster later. We have, of course, five decks built, which is very exciting. Uh, Arid Mesa. I mean, if I get a... Oh, I, I, getting a duel matters for casting Fury, perhaps, later. The life might matter, too, though. Just gonna get a planes. Get a planes, cast squee. Fire up the old squee mobile. Squee! Two cards in hand. And a crack it. Snow covered island. Alright, is squee gonna is squee in? Squeeze in! Go get him, buddy! Little squee! Doing the job, getting it done. We have Adeline next turn, and also a Ganjo. Perhaps we draw land. Bobble again, milling spell pierce. So still no delirium. Just a freaking 1 1 channeler. But here comes the Merc Tide. All right, so they have Merc Tide and a mana up. We have Solitude. We're great here, right? They're going to gain 1,000 life, obviously, but they leave Artifact, Artifact, Land, Land. Very bizarre. Oh, they want all our spells, obviously. So, um,. And we draw a a Mary. Ooh. Um, they've already cast two heats and zero bolts. They would probably kill this given the option. Mm hmm. Interesting. Um, it's funny because Ruinous Blast is is not bad either. Um. And the question of do I want to play the land or just hold it for being a spell, too? They definitely can't stop this solitude. What's the pitch here? I guess I'll probably the blast. They have spell pierces to grab, too. Just pitch this. Pitch this. We'll hold on to the Aganjo for, uh, for, um, for killing, killing this thing. And then is it Adeline or Mary? I think it's Adeline. Let's take it out of a bolt here. Let's get Ad Adeline. Let's just resolve this Adeline. Adeline's pretty sweet. Mary's easier, easier to resolve, too. Oh, yeah. We're in, folks. We're in. Send in the clowns. All right. Game. Blouses. All right. That was dope. Um, let's look at our sideboard here. And Eowyn Fearless Knight is pretty cool against Murktide. Thalia pretty good here, obviously. Um... I would say our Runus Blast can come out. Our Furies probably can come out too. Uh, I don't want the Gideons. Especially with Thalia coming in. Uh, Magistrate, Kataki, Loran. Saint Sanctifier is pretty good here, right? Helps stop Delirium. Blocks Ragavan. Um, Fury, Gideon, Loran, Kataki. Mm, I think this is good. Like, now our Thalia, our only spells with Thalia are the two Mox, and two Flowerings. I think it's fine, because we're boarding out the, the Planeswalkers and the Blasts. So, um, I think this is fine. Like, I don't think we want Fury. Um, I guess killing a Shredder in a one-drop is pretty good. I do want Fury, actually. Sanctifiers just aren't good enough. And then, do I want another, like, well, do I want to throw the extra Fury also? Flowering, Thalia, One Drops. Hmm. We're on the draw. Magistrates for, like, Cascade stuff and whatever stuff. Um. I think it's fun. Yeah, I think, I think that... I don't think that Sanctifier does much for us. We're not, like, playing, like, Thalia's Attendant or anything or so on and so forth, so...
What's up, Thunderwalk? How's it going, folks? What's up? Remember, of course, my article on CoolStuffInc.com. I am going to split it. I'm going to do this Friday, uh, the 23rd, is going to be the five historic decks. My thoughts on the cards at historic. And next week is going to be my thoughts on the, the modern decks and my thoughts on the modern uh, effect of Lord of the Rings. So we're going to split it up here a little bit. Obviously weird having a release that's not standard legal, so I'm doing different formats and stuff. So, All right, we've got a pretty pretty big stinker here. One land, no no one drops. Pretty easy mulligan. Mulligan into Ragavan, Merry, Fury, Solitude. Keep this. Uh, and uh, I'm going to keep this castle, I think. Chip Foundry. All right, we got the old one-two punch. We are on the draw, though, so... Sanctifier's fine, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, 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 maybe not Sanctifier. It also seems, seems very slow on the draw against Ragavan. So they have a channeler, not a Ragavan. Nice. So we're going to go... Inspiring Vantage. A monkey. Go. Dodge all their removal spells, but like, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. Like, they have Ledger Shredders and Merc Tides to kill you with. It doesn't do anything against, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Minas Tirith. Here's Ragga Man. Sigo. Good luck, monkey. Godspeed you! Ragga Man. Pilferer. Godspeed you, red monkey. They have been a Merc Tide. Get the old boss. That's one, two, three already. Now it's any spell. We'll make give Delirium. All right. Better this game. They, they kill this too. It's a pretty good draw for them. That's a pretty good draw. All right, sure. Courage, Ragavan. Courage for our friends. The salted pork is particularly good. All right, they draw a card. And... I don't know. Minas Tirith looking a little awkward here. We're just going to marry. It's probably going to die. I, I think we're kind of a dog this game, honestly. Uh, Mulligan into kind of an awkward hand. Why does this card look so weird? It's like all grayed out. Instead, it's this weird white border around it. I don't like it. Are you going to spell pierce me on my television show? Maybe look dumb for my friends? No, okay. Just going to bold it? Sure. Uh, yeah, it's, that's, a, that's a pretty good draw on their part, not going to lie. They keep the card on top. They have Delirium and a full graveyard. Here's an iteration. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Need to convince Corey to watch Return. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll watch it when he has time. He seemed like he liked the uh, the first two very much. So time is uh, you know time is the enemy as always. All right, so we draw a Kithian, which is not super helpful when it comes to playing this land on top for Adeline, which kind of sucks here honestly. Minas Tirith here looking pretty bad. Maybe we don't want to play this card. Comes in on tap now, but didn't come in on tap before. Need to have a legendary creature. And we're going to say go. They have four, they have five cards in their hand and a thing. Yeah, we're, we're dead here. We're just stone dead. Then we're going to game three. Yeah, player draw. I mean, like, I really detest how player draw dependent Ragavan is in this format. Like, it's just such night and day. A bobble again. Blue and a red, play iteration, yada, yada, yada. Oro says, we learned about pre-modern lately. Something to take a look at? No. It's amusing. There's just too many formats of magic. All right, so take three. Untap, and they draw up to five. I mean, I guess we're playing a land, right? Because we have uh, two five drops in our hands, so... Play the land, play Adeline. It's going to resolve. They could have heat, obviously, which they probably do because they have drawn a thousand cards. No, wow, no heat. I don't even believe it. I don't believe it. It's impossible, no heat. All right. What else I see? So now we have an, a resolved Adeline. They're going to play a third iteration. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of cards. They have many, many cards. Since the war began, the castle walls mark the only place on Kamigawa where no Kami has ever set foot. Fiery Islet, six cards in hand. Play Murktide? Play Shredder. Okay. We just draw land. If we just draw uh, 
An untap I have Fury too. God. I hate these cards so much. Alright, well, there goes Adeline. Um you draw an untap land here. Red source. Nope. The other again, Joe. Because the problem is I want to keep the solitude for a Merc Tide because they're halfway through deck already. But I also need to kill the other stuff too. Yeah, I wanted to cast Fury here, not not Solitude. Um There are ten. I'm at eight. I think we're dead, folks. Whatever. What are you gonna do? I did keep the Aganjo over a dual land, right? Maybe that was wrong. Alright, so attack with these, they go down to eight. Or back to eight, I suppose. Or two eight, whatever. Alright, so they're at eight, we're at eight. Here comes to consider. I mean Murktide has to be has to be coming this turn, unfortunately. Wanna attack first, see if they block. Um so trade Kithian and for why would that be good? Let's see if they block. Channeler. Unholy each. Yeah, I mean their draw their draw was almost perfect this game, unfortunately. So very, very good draw on their part. I think we have no outs here. Untap and draw a... This is the three. Yeah, we're dead. All right, game three. That's fine. Good hand. Good hand on their part. Untap. We look at our sideboard. I think I want these Sanctifiers. I think I've changed my mind on it. Bring in Sanctifiers. And now on the play. I don't, I don't have Fury in the play. I think Fury's kind of eh. Just do it like this. Honestly... Plaza of Heroes is a little hard to cast too, but on the play, let's go. We've got one, we've Ragavan and Sanctifier or Mary. Love it. Snap keep. Hands great. Point Mulligan, six. I'm going to get our duel and just let it ride. One Foundry. One Ragavan. We could actually play the Skrull first. Nah, just play Ragavan. Play Skrell first, like, then what? You know, they, they, they need time for blockers and stuff, too, so... Whatever. They're down a card because they mulliganed. Here's the bolt, sure. And now we can go Isimaru plus Skrelv or Sanctifier. I think I like Isimaru plus Skrelv. Another Merry? Yeah. More soundboard, please. What you talking about? What you talking about? Wow. Alright, and we'll see you. Isimaru back! He's back. Ah, our hero returns. Raise your hand, Chad, if you cast Isamaru before. This card was a big deal like 20 years ago. Like, holy crap, a 2 2 for one? Better than Savannah Lions? Right, untap. And we have Mary attack with Isamaru and Mary and draw a card. Or we have Sanctifier to brick wall them. Hmm. Um. Mary attacks pretty bad. They can just block or attack us back, which doesn't really work. We gotta kill this or put me have a way to block it. I think I want a sanctifier of his turn. Let me offer the trade of Isamara for Ragavan, I think. And then we'll play Karizev and go from there. Or block, sure, that's fine. So do that. Play cards. They have Sega. They find their land, and they're gonna play an unholy heat on the Skrelv, Sure. <sighs> All right, sure. Uh, I guess we're gonna nuke that graveyard now, so they can't merc tide us. So, nuke the old graveyard. I think Minas Tirith might be really bad. Um, it's my initial impression. So, say go. They have three cards. I have two, and they're both Mary, so I have no Legends in play, which is awkward. They just drew a land. They have three spells in their hand. They have a Shredder? No, they have a... <sighs> a 
So, I mean, I could have fetched the planes, I guess, but I did not consider that to be a thing. Um, I bored out the Furies too, right? I did board out the Furies. I don't think I have many castable cards. It's a sad day. A red day. Air of the moon rises. And here comes Ragavan. All right. Well, sure, I guess. 15, 15. They hit my Adeline. Glad I didn't draw that, I guess. We have one planes in our deck. Oh my god. All right. Uh, we do have our own Ragavans. That's true. They have three cards. One of them's a Ragavan. They also actually they have Think as Murta of this thing. So cast Ragavan. Say go. We, have, we do have Zergo Bell Striker. Planes. Not quite. Not quite. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? All right. Here's iteration. Say go. Or do the thing. Good old Blood Moon. We're playing Blood Moon later, so. Are we? Maybe we're not. No fireball in the deck. Planes. One basic planes in the deck. 44 to 1. Just good TV, you know? Just good TV. Remember, folks, watching on YouTube, make sure they hit that, that like button. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you check out the, check out the YouTube. Because we do lots of stuff on there. Video every day. Bronze and Mythic has also started, uh, which is a lot of fun. They're just going to play a second Ragavan just to shred? Wow. That's pretty bold. Uh, sure. How many Ragavans? Two Ragavans. Uh, sure. That's fine. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Trying to get that all. Oh, ho! Three in the bin. Also exiled. Yeah, this next is pretty good against them. And then we untap and draw a Eowyn Fearless Knight. Still looking for planes. Still looking for planes. Want to buy one planes. Minas Tirith. Probably better off as a planes. Channeler. Channeler. Shredder. Take two. This exiles creature with power greater than its power. Uh, a ganjo, a ganjo. Old school, new school. Old school, new school. <laughs> Iteration, okay. Not very fun that I haven't played a spell in five turns, but yeah. Huh. <sighs> Play Bobble, do a little shreddy stuff. They have Artifact, Land, Instant. If they can find a Murktide or a Shredder, they'll have Delirium also. We're just, we're just super dead, so... This game's been over for like a while now, but... Bobble again. Attack for three. The final turn for us. Skrelf, can't cast it. Alright, well, I guess he got his opponent. Sneaky cheeky blood moon. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful, Link. No! They even draw a second island too. How many planes? One. We do have a, we do have mono red cards though. Okay. 
I'm just gonna say whatever. Right, you got you got me. All right, we're not gonna set my upkeep for an hour and a half. You you got me. No worries. All right, hand is pretty good. We have one drop. Karizev, you can keep this. It's not great, but put a ball get a six. We're on the draw. Botanical Sanctum. All right. This could be a Cascade deck, I guess. Flowering the White Tree, sure. Are we going to Kithian or Skrull? I think we're going to Kithian. Uh, I feel like Botanical Sanctum is not going to interact very much, so. Yeah, I'm feeling Living End or, uh, or Rhinos here. You see a cycle. We do our so yeah. We have living end. Uh, I would say we're fairly cold to them in game one. We do have solitude to pitch and just like put it in the bin and get it back, but it's not really that good honestly. So steam vents untapped. Go. So we get a Kari's ever flowering this turn. Um, two meta for a waker of waves main phase. Just doing it. Uh, bit of a Seiju, sure. So yeah, we're going to play Flowering here and just not commit a creature, I think. Ooh, wait, never mind. We drew Mary. Mary! Courage for our friends, Mary. Um, okay. I Mary here. I attack for four. There's also some desire to want to, like, try and flip this if we can. That's pretty hard to do, though, honestly. Like, surprisingly flip it so we can get a Planeswalker and play around Living End. Is it Mary or Flowering of the White Tree? Both add two power to the board. One's better against Living End. Um, we can pitch Solitude uh, and put that in the in the graveyard for Living End. Then we get to Living End something. Um, I'm going to play this, this tree, I think. Play a tree. Add two power to the board. They got a Force Negation me? You wouldn't dare. Attack for four. Flowering in the white tree. Don't tempt me, Foga. What's up, Jones? All right. Charles Agent? I'm just going to main phase the outburst? I mean, I guess. All right, sure. So we pitch Solitude. Um, we're going to exile our own Kithian just to gain life. It's better than better than I guess in the graveyard, the next living end, it would come back. Um, huh. They're going to have the living end again to win this game. The question is, will like, will Kithian matter? Eh, it might. So, so no, uh, no, none of that. F6. Solitude dies. They put their things come back. Solitude comes back. Eats the Waker of Waves. Honestly, our opponent seems somewhat inexperienced. They've played kind of weird so far. I've been like main basing everything and so on and so forth. But Outburst, Cascade, 41 cards. Living End. Uh, usual stuff here. Grief. Sky Turtle. Force Negation. Yeah, nothing crazy. Exile 7-7. Seven, seven. I also have a 3-3 three, three now, thanks to the flower. A 4-3, thanks to flowering. 4-3 lifelink's not too bad. Attached into these things as well. So I, think I, would say, I would say that was a pretty good exchange for us, honestly. I think that was a very, very hasty, hasty living end. Now, don't be hasty. We draw Urza's Ruinous Blast. Damn. Bingo. Not there yet, but damn. So I'm happy to attack in straight here, I think. I want Solitude in the bin for the next uh, living end, so... Happy to trade with either one of these and gain four life. And then we just go Karizev, tap land. Hopefully marry next turn. Pirate. Arr. All right, you are up. I know what it is you saw. So go. A little scry action. Still a piece of garbage. Uh, 
Five cards in hand. We have a 3-4 First Strike Menace that makes a 3-2 Monkey every turn. They attack for four, sure. Ruinous Blast looking pretty good here. They're going to say go. We draw Minas Tirith. Sure. All right, well, here comes old Marriottic Brandybuck. The salted pork is particularly good. And we're going to attack, deal much damage, draw some cards. Draw a card. We get a 4 2 Ragavan. Draw a castle for land 5. Awesome. This is an attack for 4 8 for 11. Awesome. What's your plan here, friend? I feel like my opponent's got to do something. Alright, Rocket Man's gone. The Merry Engine's online. The Ruinous Blast is teed up. They got a 4 4. And they're gonna scoop. They show their hand. It's living end, living end, living end. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have wasted the first one, right? All right, so we bring in Dranith Magistrate. We bring in Sanctifier Invec. Uh, we bring in Thalia and Ursa's Ruinous Blast. Maybe Eowyn also. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, all right, so all these cards are coming in. Uh, Gideon's gone. Remos can just go. It's not a very good card. Barmir also stops them from cascading, too. So you have a lot of good cards against them. Um, I would say the Screlves aren't very good. They're not really targeting my stuff with very much. Fury is weird, because Fury is, like, good to pitch to the graveyard, but, like, it's so hard to actually do that. Um, without, like, just, like, you know, like, you have to, like, preemptively do it, which kind of sucks. Um... Squee, Adeline, Baromir. Keep all of our ones. Do I want, do I want Runner's Blast? Maybe, maybe two is fine. Take out all these and... Just gotta land, maybe, honestly. We're on... They're a deck that can't really deal with Ragavan. And then we also just on the draw with two Moxen. Let's cut Minas Tirith. Cards are kind of mediocre anyway. Try this. Living End... I could I, I cut a scrub, right? Cut one scrub. Cut two. I left one. Yeah, I mean, you could, I mean, I don't know. I think the one's fine, but we have no one drop but Mary and Athalia. This stands pretty bad. I mean, we obviously can just draw one drop. We have turn two Thalia, which is like fine. And we have Mary also. I'm just gonna keep, I guess. It's pretty bad, but. Whatever. Botanical Sanctum. Sacred Foundry. Alright. I guess we'll like just play this tap and say go. We can get, get a planes player on Blood Moon, maybe. Probably not, but Far over the misty mountains cold. <laughs> Curator, Street Wraith, Street Wraith. All right, well, setting up for it. Land number two. <sighs> what are you doing, friend? Where were you last turn, huh? Come on, buddy. What are you doing? We need you. Get a planes. Yeah, a lot of cool flavor stuff in this set. Uh, at the pre-release, my opponent killed my foil showcase Sauron with a foil Isidore strike, and it was just like, it was great. It was good times. 
All right, so we get to, like, marry next turn and draw a card. Obviously, Thalia slows down Living End for a turn, uh, but not really a great spot here, I don't think. Far over the misty mountains. Get an island. And cycle some more stuff. Do a little waker of waves at instant speed this time. Eowyn can eat the waker of waves, which is kind of cool. This card's pretty good. Um, Again, all the deck lists for the decks in this video and this, this stream will be on my in my Cool Stuff article. Again, I think I'm going to do Stork this week and then Modern next week on Cool Stuff. So, different formats going to split it up. Untap, and we draw a Ursus Ruinous Blast. I mean, I'm going to go land and just play Marion Attack. Um, fortunately, we can't really stop living in. Fave a land, but Bolt, you reset up. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, the Eowyn is awkward with the tree for sure. I, I agree. I'm not sure about Eowyn, honestly. Combat. Attack. Draw a card. God. Draw Thalia. Sure. Alright, so we say go. They're at nine. We have, I'm sorry, 11. We have a dash available. Dahlia stops, they can they could Shardless Agent next turn, or, or it stops the Violent Outburst for two turns. Because Violent Outburst costs five, you have to, to cast it twice, uh, and then Shardless only costs four, because you only do it once. They, 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 they got two basics here also, so Blood Moon is possible. Agree, AO in a very situational, that's why it's in the sideboard. Here's Waker of Waves again. All right, so now they're now they're living in is pretty nasty. If they just have land living in here, they were dead. Uh, our hand is a little too slow. Didn't have a one drop. Uh, we do have, have this this Brutus Blast, I guess. But does Mary fit into any existing decks? I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's it's a build around. Although there's so many good legends lately that it's you know not the hard build around. All right, so they, they have no red, but if they have a Shar Charles here, they get to put a whole bunch of stuff in play. They're gonna grief me. Uh, good grief. Four cards in end. I think we're dead here. They're going to grief and then just play Living End. Go to game three. Good grief. I can only assume they take the blast. Yeah. So, do they have a Living End is the question. One Charlotte's agent or nah. If you got it, I'm dead. If you don't got it, We'll see. Let's draw a few cards, you know. All right, they got it. So make sure they actually have a living end in their hand. They reveal it. So they get back two Waker of Waves. Yeah, we're just super dead. So, all right, next game. Game three. That was a pretty bad hand on our part. We have, like, a lot of good hate cards. We have Double Magistrate, Double Boromir, uh, which turn off their entire deck. And then we have, you know, Ruinous Blast, Sanctifier, and stuff too. And a Fast Clock. We, we had no wonder about game two. So I'm not too, not too worried, honestly. It's fun. Ninja Day, reset. Thanks so much. All right, on the play. Game three. Ragavan. Uh, not much else besides Ragavan, but you can't mulligan a Ragavan hand, so we're going to keep this. We have Solitude and Blast, and then an Amber, which does not that much, but... Monkai. These are mana tithe. It's usually true. But mulligans and pu puts in ley line of the void. Sure. So I guess they're really concerned with me like pitching solitude or whatever. That's fine by me. So they mulliganed and then mulliganed again. Uh, we'll take that. Now our solid tr solid trick doesn't work anymore, but like we can just hard cast solitude later or play Ruinous Blast or whatever. So hard casting solitude off Ragavan's good too. 
How about a nice Adeline here off the top? Dahlia also plays. Uh, let's play Mox Amber. Attack with our Ragavan. Could Legend Rule stuff into our graveyard also, but like, fly our cards are that good, you know, just freaking things. Waker the Waves, not casting that one. Let's play a land. Let's play a Thalia. I think I actually want to get a Plains anyway, so. Just gotta fetch a Plains. Play around Blood Moon. They got basics last game, so not like likely, but it's possible, I guess. Here's Thalia, so there you go. Here comes the Wraith. Not quite a Nazgul. We're playing Nazgul later also. Our brews are... I can show the names. We have a Dora Durian brew, a Nazgul Changeling brew, a Rise of the Witch King brew, and a... Uh, Forgot the last one. Untap. And draw a Skrelv. Attack again. Ragavan will reveal. Striped Riverwinder. Uh, we're close to casting that, but not quite. So, play land. Uh, they can't living in his next turn, so play Skrelv. And just say go, I guess. I mean, you know. We have five power in play. What's up, Cosmic Hawk? For, for, ten, for ten new brews this time, it's because it's, it's a eternal set. We did five historic brews on Arena yesterday, and we're doing five modern brews today. Anything missed will be up on YouTube. Make sure you check it out on the old YouTube channel. Make sure you follow on there, like, comment, do all the stuff. Support the channel, please. Helps out a ton. Waker of Waves again. Blast the worst card in the deck. Couldn't couldn't disagree more. I think it's one of the best cards in the deck. One of the reasons re reasons why this deck is sweet. Uh, this card is exceptionally good. <laughs> Sunken Ruins. Spell Pierce format? I mean, you just find your way around it, you know? Whatever. I don't know. I think the card's great. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But here we go. They're going to play a Shardless Agent, and they cannot cast Living End, so I have a Thalia in play. So. Can't cast it. Looking for a blocker for Ragavan, I suppose. We draw Ismar. So we could just cast Solitude here to force through our Ragaban. But I think I'd rather just hold the Solitude for the Waker of Waves next turn. And just attack, trade, and then uh, play a new one. Or I could also just Skrelve it. Get it in that way. Um, yeah, that's not best. I should do that. They do. They could possibly have Living End next turn with if they have a, uh, a land and another agent. Sure, let's do this. Uh, pay the life. Choosing blue, attacking. We're one on one. Chump block Thalia. Ragavan hits and reveals a Violent Outburst. They're at nine. Eh, let me just cast this in Maru, I guess. They can go Ragavan Ruinous Blast if they uh they living end. Sure. Casting Amp Outburst, trying to get Magistrate's a little much, I think. It's not worth it. We have Solitude, Your Thing, End Step, and or Dragavan Ruinous Blast. Sure, if they have it again, sure. So, they get to do their thing. They get back Waker, Curator, and Street Wraith, and a Shardless Agent. I get to untap, cast Ragavan, then cast Ruinous Blast.
If they have four negation in their deck, I'm going to be pretty sad. But here's Ragavan. Here's Ruinous Blast. Whoosh! Sego. All exiled also, which is gas. Cycle again, go to five. Worst card in the deck, Ruinous Blast. Any land cast solitude, any spell is good also. They have one creature in the bin. Could have dashed it. Um, Vote Grief, that sucks. They could have hard cast it too. If we dash it, we can't play the thing, right? Because our uh, the shades block it. So worked once. Yep. So they get my solitude. However, that that makes their living end bad anyway. So oh, I had one extra treasure. Oh, I, I drew a land. You're right. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. I should I should have dashed it. I think you're correct. I missed that I had the extra treasure because I was counting from the, from the prior turn. I didn't have the land. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. All right, so overall, went, went two and one. And uh, deck feels kind of gas, honestly. I do think that Mary Eskar of Rohan is just a freaking awesome card. Uh, it fueling the Fury of the Solitude is pretty sweet. Um, obviously, Ragavan's great. A lot of legends are very good anyway. Honestly, I've been pretty impressed with Flowering the first tree. Uh, I think it's card, It's I think it's like a little, it's overrated. But I think it has a place in a deck like this where, like, it's a one of or a two of. Uh, Mana Base needs some work. Minas Tirith wasn't very good. Cyborg might need a little work also. But I would say, proof of concept wise, deck seems pretty gas. So that's brew number six of 10, the first modern brew. More brews to come on stream, but YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.